I thought it would be fun to share with you what I do with the catch paper that I lay on my work table in my studio. I generally buy shipping paper that you can purchase in the box section of the hardware stores or the big box stores. And I lay that down so I have a clean work surface. All of the inks that I'm using on my gel press or paints that I'm utilizing happen to wind up on that paper. So my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Pros Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment to subscribe. I like to produce 10 to 15 minute videos that are quick, concise, to the point. If you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload additional content. So here's that paper that I had on my desk. I'm just folding it in half, creasing it down, folding it in half the other way, creasing it down and I think I'm going to switch this because I want the color to be on the outside so we'll fold it with the color on the outside and then we will fold it in half once again and there we have a little booklet with a couple of pockets created look at that there's your front a couple of pockets in the back now we'll take that over to the paper cutter and just kind of trim those edges and make those edges a little more refined. So we had some curling at the bottom, so we want to get rid of that. There we go. Now we have a nice, neat little packing paper booklet, or booklet created out of packing paper. I just want to make sure that I have that trimmed neatly. There we go. There. So now that I have that defined, how I want it put together, I'm going to pull out there was a little extra sheet where I'd folded that up. So I'm going to get that pulled out. And I'm just putting down a line of glue to glue these two sheets together to create just a little more substantial fold there. And plus that defines that pocket for us. So now we have a pocket. We'll do the same thing on this one. We'll create two pockets by putting a ribbon of glue down the one edge. And I'm just going to take it back for one last trim. I like I like those edges to be neat. So there we go. We'll fold that in half. And now I'm going to create a little signature for the inside of this. And what this makes, makes a great little notebook for is to slip down inside the journal that you're working on. It's something that you don't worry about, you know, destroying. So I had some packing tape. This is just plain old packing tape that I use to clean my gel press. And when I do that, I just kind of staple, but not staple them, but clip them up on my wall. So I have them for, for things like this. And this will just reinforce that spine a little bit. So I've laid that packing tape down that I've used to clean my gel press. Going to ink around the outside edges of, no, I'm not. I take that back. I'm going to use the script stamp. And just add a, a little chatter on here. Now I have this recycle, reuse stamp. I think that's pretty appropriate for this project, don't you?
I'm just randomly stamping. You can see the coffee stains where I've set my cup of coffee on the on the paper. So this has all kinds of of studio goodness on it. And I'm just going to fill all those blank spaces spaces with this script stamp. Couple of pockets. And now let's get this one ready to go down inside there. Back to the trimmer once again. Now that's going to make this one just a little bit shorter than the first one, but I'm okay with that. Back to the tape that I used to clean my gel press. You can see all that paint that was pulled from the gel press with that, that packing tape. So I'm going to glue that down because there's a lot of paint on this one and it doesn't have the sticky left to it. So I'm just creating a booklet out of the things that I utilize. One, to keep my workspace clean, and two, to clean my workspace. <laughs> so there's another piece of that tape. And if you watched my 52 altered playing cards in 52 days, you saw me use this gel press cleaning tape to create one of those cards. So this will not be new to you to utilize this. So now we have those two folded together. I'm going to measure where I want to sew my signature in. I just need that halfway mark, and I'm just going to make a pencil. You know, once again, I'm not concerned about what's on this. This is just going to be for random notes, things that I think of while I'm working. Not, you know, you create these journals that are so beautiful, and you don't want to write in them. You don't want to destroy them. You don't think your writing's good enough, whatever. But this, I'm not taking any time to prepare paper. I'm pulling just white, typing paper, folding it in half, trimming it so that it's the right size for the inside of this. Now I'm just going to use some binders to hold it into place so I can use my pokey tool and, and poke my holes. And then we will sew this in. And I'm just utilizing a black embroidery thread. So we'll go through the binding process here, which the most difficult part is getting the needle threaded. So I've measured this about three, three times the width of this book, I'm going to take that needle with that embroidery thread through the center hole. And I will come up through the top or bottom hole, it doesn't matter which, just one of the holes, because I like to tie it off in the center. So I'm going to come up through that top hole and I will go back down from the inside through the center hole. And then I will come back up through the remaining, the outside of the remaining hole, which is the top hole or bottom hole, whichever, wherever you started. And 
and I lost my threading of my needle, so I have to stop and thread it again. And there we go through that last hole. And now we'll just take the needle off and tighten those threads up and tie it in a square knot right there in the center. And that binds that white paper or that little signature into this book. And I'm just going to clip that off. And there. Not bad for a piece of scrap paper, or catch paper is what I refer to it as, which was coined by another friend of mine with a YouTube channel. And there, some of this printing paper, or some of this white journal paper has um, printing on it from from my printer, but I you know I, I I don't care. So now I've just cut a strip of that catch paper we had that that we cut off, and I am just gluing this around a paper clip. So I've just taken that strip and I'm folding it and gluing it around this paper clip, and I'm going to use that to keep this closed. And trim off the end there, round that one end up a little bit, stick a little punch in it in between the um, paper and the uh, clip, and add some jump rings onto it. And I have putting one jump ring on, adding a second jump ring to that, and then I will open up that second jump ring and add another two. And then when I get enough of a dangle, I'll just pull out a little charm and add that charm to the bottom. And there you have just a little paper clip with a little charm that keeps this closed. You can put it at the top, put it at the side, wherever you want. Just using my bone folder to kind of strengthen up those folds. And now I'm just going to take my pen and write in here what I've just done. And I will tuck this down inside my idea journal as an idea to utilize with your catch paper. Or the paper that you use to keep your desk clean. And if you see what mine looks like after I pull that catch paper off, you'll, you'll know why I like to cover it up. So this is a little journal that we just created out of the waste paper that would normally be wadded up and put in the trash can. We created this sweet little journal that is very easy to take notes on and, and just kind of use in your studio to write down ideas you have while you're working. And you're not concerned about getting paint on it ink on it, overspray, anything. It's just a very comfortable little notebook to utilize while you're working. Once again, my name is Peg, channel 2 Old Crows Mixed Media. Please take a moment and subscribe. I love to hear your comments, and I really appreciate all of those likes and shares. I try to keep my videos short and to the point, so 10 minutes, 15 minutes type videos. So please join me. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. Bye for now.